new bench made products for the spring of 2024. Let's light it up. All right, guys, we're here to talk about your favorite topics today. What do we got first, TC? We got the full immunity in the gold class. This thing is gorgeous. So unidirectional carbon fiber on the handles, which gives it a really cool look. It's almost like a wood grain. Um, but then we've also got the Adyear um, pattern Damascus. That's Damasteel right there. And, of course, this is the full immunity. So we're going to have a two-way pocket clip reversible access lock and this is the manual version not the auto version you know i personally think i like the manual better the auto is fun it is fun um and i do buy auto knives but i don't know it's, it's kind of weird the more you kind of delve into this not like the knife world you kind of yeah. like the challenges of ma like you you enjoy the appreciation of manual things yeah i guess it's kind of what people talk about when they talk about how driving a manual vehicle is right. way better. I, I think, uh, and this one in, in particular actually has the prototype stamped on it. Now, when they actually come in, they will not have that on them. These will be released in March of this year. Uh, March 12th, I think, is the release date on these. And they're going to be retailing right, uh, MSRP on them is right at $600. So, you know, and for a gold class, I know, I know, calm down, don't. Don't come at me. That's a pretty affordable price for a gold class. <laughs> there's a lot. There's a lot of collectors out there that are going to love to get their hands on it. I promise you. I know this knife is not for everybody, but I guarantee you, it's sold before we put it online. So yep. that's just how they go. If you do want one, call us beforehand to get put on a list that you want one because that's what people do with these things. Yeah. Because we usually don't. We don't. I don't even know if we've had a chance to put the last few online. Well, we'll put, eventually it goes online, but they're already sold by before they even get yeah. listed. So if you want one, um, I don't know, what would you recommend them do? Like call customer service? Yeah, I guess so. Um, I mean, I know we're not gonna be getting a whole lot of these. Well, so. usually, that's the problem. We usually only get one or two. Yeah. So may the, may the force be with you because uh, getting one of these things is very hard. I'm gonna so. wish you the best of luck. Um, I'm just and I know there's going to be a ton of people in the comments. Oh, you can have it. I don't want it. You can have it. I'm not even going to take a shot at it because I don't want that over. Okay, well, it's fine. You don't have to say that. But that does come out in March. We know. And this one comes out a month after. And yep, I believe this one has your heart. This one does. So the Mini Adamas is my favorite knife pattern of all time. Without doubt. I think it is one of the most ergonomic and most comfortable knives designed and finally oh Locked. safety's on <laughs> safety's on it is the mini adamas auto right here and it is going to be coming out in the fde as well as the black as well as the carbon fiber with the magna cut now this one is the black with the cpm crew wear this one's going to be released in april the other ones are going to be released later in the year um, so still the axis lock and you will notice something a little bit different too on this one You'll notice that the holes in the G10 on the handles are filled in. That's so that it actually covers up the mechanism in there. You can't have all of that all the way see-through if there, there's an auto mechanism in there. So that's just the way it works. But still got the same ergos, same size, same profile, and all of that. And I think this thing is super, super cool. And one thing I noted to you when we were going through the catalog, also these prices we're telling you, these are Benchmade MSRP. Yep. We usually come in a little bit cheaper than that. So uh, the MSRP on this is 330, which is only $5 more than the manual. So if you yeah. are into the auto game, uh, five bucks more. Yeah, uh, I, I think that's a phenomenal, th this one's definitely gonna make its way into my collection. Not this one in particular, because I've got my eye on one of the other ones, but it, the Auto Mini is something that I'm super stoked about. Yeah, that's awesome. So, um, a little update. We just got back from Blade Show, Texas. Yep. Uh, that was fun. Uh, there, we've shown everything new to be new. Yep. Um, that's why this week's uh, new knife show is all bench made, because we've not had anything else new. And Charlie came in with a bunch of cool stuff to show, and we thought, well... well this All of the first half releases in prototypes that we could have in hand, and the only other time we've actually had these in hand was at SHOT Show 
and I actually didn't get to see all of them then. Yeah. Because I was doing some stuff with uh, Hollow Sun at the time, and you were over filming with Benchmade, and then I came and crashed the Benchmade filming, and I got through half of it, but I didn't get to see a lot of this stuff, especially the water series the that Benchmade we're going to get to in a minute. It's hard, it's hard to get in with them. They're, it's a very popular booth. Yep. We had to reschedule, schedule, and find times that worked, and uh, but we finally got in. But the, the part he missed, and we'll go ahead and jump to that, because I'm sure you've, you've already said it three times already before we started the show. I do think these are your favorite on the table. Let's start yep. with this water water series. So the water series is going to be uh, actually in the folders and in the uh, fixed blades. This one right here is actually called the Mini Adira. And this is probably my favorite one on the table right here. I like the color. Um, I like the, uh, I mean, it is, I, I will say, very granola. Uh, it's definitely got a granola feel to it. But... I like the blade shape. I like the shape of the handle. These are all coming in with CPM MagnaCut on the blade steel, which has been all the rage as far as, you know, water. I'm very curious. We, we've done our own test on it. Uh, Benchmade, I don't know if you got to see their little sample that they had up with all of the metal, uh, the steels, yep. the metals that they had like, put under water and corrosion test. Um, for the most part, you know, the, the crazy thing is, as you've said it in our Blade Steel series, is, you know, this is not a stainless um, blade, as, blade as, as far as... As far as, as it's chromium content, yeah. yeah. So it, it's very interesting. It's an anomaly, and but it's... I don't go... You don't go and see them putting just any Blade Steel on a water collection knife. Yeah. So uh, they're, they, they're confident in it. Um, Benchmade has one of the most phenomenal warranties in the industry. Yeah. So, I say if you've been waiting to pull the trigger on one of these, do it. Yeah. So, and it, it feels, and it's crazy how light, that was the first thing I said when I picked it up at SHOT Show, is how light it feels. It just disappears. Yeah. That weight disappears in your hand, and that's probably a good thing if you're out, um, you know, on a boat. In fishing. the water, yeah, absolutely. I mean, you got to think, you're either going to be wearing this, like having this with a wetsuit, or with swimming trunks. And you can't really have a super heavy knife with swimming trunks. Um, it's It just doesn't make sense. Or you're gonna be having it with a wetsuit while you're diving and you want as little weight as possible because your tanks are taking up a lot of your weight when you're doing stuff like that. Good old so, tank weight. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. So that one right there is coming in at 207, which honestly is not a terrible price. You're talking CPM Magna Cut. You're talking Benchmade Axis Lock. I I think that's two hundred for Magna Cut Axis Lock Benchmade. Benchmade. Uh, you're not gonna find one cheaper. No, with any brand really. Right. I mean, if, if you find one cheaper, you're talking like twenty five bucks cheaper. Yeah, exactly. And, and not a Benchmade name or a Benchmade warranty. So or probably not even USA made, which yeah. they're figuring out how to do that now. Right. So, um, interesting. So, uh, I put that in the wrong box. So yeah. that, that that was that is MSRP two hundred seven. Like yep. I said before, might come in maybe one ninety nine is what yeah. I, my guess would be. So, and then we've got the full size, which is the Adira, and that's going to be this one right here. Again, super lightweight, a uh, little bit bigger. So on this one, we're talking blade length of uh, looks like three point. Seven five inches, so three and three quarters inches, right there, just under four. Excuse me, two oh seven is the real price on that last one. Yep, it okay. is originally going. The MSRP on it is two thirty, so we okay. we slashed that one by um, seventeen. Yeah, I mean, yeah, no, twenty three dollars. Twenty three dollars. Twenty three dollars. Yeah. So yeah, um, and this one is MSRP two fifty. We have it for two twenty five. Yep. So. Coming in with three point uh, three point seven five inch blade on that uh, CPM Magna Cut blade, and uh, I, I just I, the ergonomics just feel really good on both of these. Uh, not quite there to take it take the the title from me as far as the Mini Adamas goes, but really close. I will say this is really really close in competition with that Mini Adamas as far as ergos goes. I don't know if it shows up well as far as the side. This is a big knife. Yeah. Um, like that's a big knife. <laughs> yeah, you can do a lot of chores with that one. So. Yeah, 
That's that's a beast right there. I mean, we're talking in the same size arena. It's bigger as, than some, most of these fixed plates we've got left to show. Yeah, I mean, we've got the mini Bushcrafter here, and it's dwarfing that. So, um, yeah, that's a that's a that's a beast. I mean, we're talking bigger than a pair of two. Yeah. So. Yep. If you're into big folders, that's uh, this one's for you. Yep. Two twenty five. Once again, it's, it's not. It's not hate bad. hate me. I'm sure. I, I'm sorry, but it it we've we've done this for three and a half years now. Go, oh, oh, no more than that. Almost four years. Almost four years. Yeah. I've I've seen how these processes go. Yes, everything has gone up. Everything. Uh, go look at eggs, milk. I'm sorry. Like. I'm sure, yeah, Bread. everybody sound off below. Like, what is more expensive now that wasn't in 2020? Yeah. So, um, everything's gone up. These, I, I, I'm actually seeing a little bit of a turn in Benchmade this year. Uh, a lot yeah. of, I think they've listened a little bit. And, um, yeah, Benchmade is still expensive, but don't go to Mercedes or go on Cadillac lot and expect yeah. the same price as, you know, Honda. Yeah. It's just, it's, I mean, there's it's what Honda makes Hondas and Honda also makes Acuras. The Acuras yeah. are a heck of a lot more. That's the only best way I can explain it. Toyota, Lexus. And you're getting a phenomenal warranty. So yeah. I, I don't know anybody who owns their Benchmade that just absolutely hates it. I'm sure somebody will tell me now that they do. But I'm I've not, had, I've had nothing but success out of mine. And I use the crap out of my mini bug out, my Adamas, uh, my mini Adamas. I mean, those are the main ones that I have that I use on a regular basis, and I use the crap out of them. Yeah. So. And by no means are we the biggest fanboys of Benchmade. We love Benchmade. Yeah. We we love all, we almost pretty much love every knife brand. Because um, they make stuff that we like. Yeah. So they make knives. Uh, it is what it is. I I still know everybody's going to complain. Not everybody. Some people really do love Benchmade, and there's going to be people that saw this Benchmade thumbnail and clicked on it just to say something mean. That's okay. Yeah. That's fine. It's just at least comment so it drives our engagement. So, what is this? That's another shootout in a really cool color combination. So, we've got like the sage green, and I'm not sure exactly what they're calling it, but it looks like sage green to me. And then it's got like the yellow anodized accents on the slider and on the lanyard loop in the back end. So, here's the thing, and here's something that we noticed just a moment ago. All right, so that's going to be CPM crew wear on the blade steel. If you're looking to get one of these shootouts, you need to make sure you pay attention because some of them come with the lanyard loop on the back end, and then some of them come with the glass breaker on the back end. So that is going to be a difference, and there is a difference in price. This one right here is $350. This one right here is coming in at $325. And that's going to be the Desert Warrior version right there, kind of, not really, full on. But uh, got the FDE on the... I was about to say something, I probably shouldn't have said it. Got, <laughs> got the FDE on the blade right there. And now they're both going to be CPM crew wear, but this one's going to come in with the anodized uh, accent on the slider right there. How do and you feel about the, uh, the texture on the false bolster here? I like it. I think it's phenomenal because it's not you can so aggressive. Pinch on it right there. Yeah, it's not so aggressive that it tears your fingers up, but it is aggressive enough to be almost like Velcro to your fingers. And that's that's pretty impressive. I really like, I don't know if you'd call that gold. You said yellow. It kind of comes off with a little bit of a metallic on it. Right. Um, I, I really dig this combo. Yeah. Uh, I've not gotten a shootout. I've always said I wanted a shootout. Ah, man. Now's your chance. I really do. These, these, um, I would call them seasonal colors that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they're Benchmade doing like does. limited runs on the colors. Gosh, wouldn't that be perfect for Easter? I like that. That's an Easter color right there. I and like it's that. coming out in March. So yeah, that's so. perfect. Next up is going to be, and I really like this mini Claymore. So we're talking about the classic Claymore styling with in um, uh, Morse code right there. FTE front towards enemy. Um, that's very important when it comes to setting a claymore. Pink. Um, so this one's got the double edge blade, and this one is the straight blade version. It's coming in at 350, and 
really good action, really lightweight. It's going to be a really dependable um, out the front auto CPM D2 on the blade steel. I dig it. Uh, next up, we do have a new uh, Necron, new ballast song called yes. the Necron, 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 Necron. However, we say it, it's going to sound a little funky. And I will say, this thing does feel pretty good. I mean, it's super smooth. Um, I like the uh, JG10 on the handles right there, as well as the, uh, I guess, brass colored pivots. Um, and interesting blade shape on this one, too. So we got a nice uh, exaggerated clip point right there. Almost looks like a uh, pirate sword mm -hmm. is, is kind of what it reminds me of. Uh, coming in with S30V on the blade steel, and it's coming with the little sheath right here that has the belt loop attachments, you molly you attachments. You don't see little sheaths come with them very yeah. often. Usually so, these are just like in a little zip bag that... Yeah. So. I, I like it. It's super smooth. Um, got a nice uh, skeletonized handle, like liners on the inside there. Is that G10 on the, on the back spacers. Like on washers. I could be wrong though. That is washers. That is, uh, looks like phosphor bronze washers. So. Which we hear is what the, the, the flippers like. So. Yeah. Very, very good, uh, very good action on that one. And uh, well balanced as well. So it's going to give you a little bit more weight on the back end and make it a little bit more controllable. I like that. If there is a company to make a butterfly knife. It's the one with the butterflies. And that's actually how they got started. They Their first knife they ever made was a battle song. So, fun fact. There we go. Coming in at 500, and that one's going to be released in March. That is all of the folders and out the fronts. Now we've got some fixed blades. You want st Let's start small and go big. Start small and go big. So, let's start on the low end of the prices, too, and that's going to be this steep country right here. This one caught you by surprise when Dude, I was writing down the prices. I, it blew my mind. So, this one's coming in with S30V on the blade steel, and it's got the rubberized handle right there. I do also like how the tank that's sticks cool. up out of the top. Um, it is a full tank fixed blade, though, and we're talking 180 on the price on this thing. That's MSRP once again. And so it could be a little bit, maybe a little bit cheaper. Maybe a little bit cheaper, possibly. Uh, we'll see. And like I said, the rubberized grip, I really like. This is gonna be a great hunting knife because it's super lightweight, comes with the Kydex sheath, decent retention, and um, got the ability to mount it to a lot of different things. And I like the belly on that. And uh, to kind of keep going on that path right there, we've got the bigger version. So we've seen the Meat Crafter. This is going to be the new iteration of the Meat Crafter. So the original was 350. This one is coming in at 200. So no longer does it have the, excuse me, indigestion. No longer does it have the indigestion that I do. Um, no longer does it have the G10 handles. Uh, this one's got the same rubberized grips that you're going to find on the Steep Country. Uh, and this one's also going to be in CPM 154 as opposed to S45VN on the original Meat Crafter. And it's going to come with the Kydex sheath. And that one's coming in at 200 So $150 less than the original Meat Crafter. I'm going to tell you right now, CPM 154 is a good enough steel. <laughs> yes, absolutely. And look at that. You could even go so far as to say this would actually make a really good fillet knife. Oh, that's um, what I would, yeah. I would but it's also it. going to be a great meat processing knife, a great camp cooking knife. Um, it's going to be very corrosion resistant, and, and it's going to be easy to haul with because it's super lightweight. You're not going to drop that grip either. That's, no. That's good. Yeah. Good handles. Absolutely. And staying in that price, I'm going to do. I'm going to do this by price point. So staying on that same price point is going to be the Intersect. And this is falling in the in the same line with the Water Series right there. So you're going to have this really nice Water Series sheath right here. It's going to be very secure um, and going to be able to lash to equipment, like diving equipment, something like that. You're not going to have to worry about this one falling out accidentally, but it also comes with the lanyard so that you can grab the lanyard and pull it out. 
and it's going to have that same rubberized handle. This one's coming in with CPM MagnaCut on the blade steel right there. So MagnaCut blade steel, full tang fixed blade, and a great little dive knife coming in at 200 bucks with that sheath as well. Um, I think that's a phenomenal deal. And again, coming in at a good price point you that's know, not breaking the bank. I don't know. This could be a personal preference for me. But I'm seeing more and more of it, and I love it. I am loving pocket the pocket carry, pocket carry sheaths. Yep. Oh my gosh! I, which I've got, I've got, you know, the one I got at uh, Blade, Show, Blade Texas. Show Texas. I made it, you know, like this. But I got a belly. Don't you <laughs> love carrying it like that? I do, but I got a belly. Yeah. And uh, it's fine while I'm standing, but when I sit down, it pinches. Now this. It just makes it so much easier. Yeah. I, I would prefer that. I would like that kind of sheath on all of them. Well, and what this is going to be great for, too, I think, this is me personally, and this might not have factored in at all, but I think this is going to be a great snorkeling knife. Mm -hmm. Not so much for the hardcore divers, but a great snorkeling knife. So something that you're still doing in you know swim trunks or lighter gear, it's going to be very lightweight, but it's still something you can put in the pocket there on a pair of swim trunks or just on the inside of the waistband that you can carry with you while snorkeling that is going to be unobtrusive and lightweight but still be able to be retained. Now I said earlier that that meat crafter would work as a really good uh, fillet knife uh, but they've also got their fish crafter series coming in with a 7 inch and a 9 inch. That's for them big uh, deep sea tunas right? Yeah. Yeah. As, uh, and so these are both coming in with CPM MagnaCut on the blade steel. And uh, I'm actually going to get these on camera here. Got a good amount of flex on both of those right there. So those are going to be great, great little fillet knives. And going to be great camp knives, great, you know, processing knives, whether or not it's, it's fish that you're processing. But um, I really like this Fish Crafter series. The uh, seven inches coming in at 240. They both come with a uh, injection molded plastic sheath, and the nine inch is coming in at 260 right there. So really like those, and like I said, those are going to be great travel knives, uh, great camp cooking knives. Those are going to be great knives to put uh, in the camper to take on like fishing trips and stuff, or in the uh, you know in the back of the truck for the tent. And anytime you go on a fishing trip like that, I like it. And then we've also got the undercurrent. This is the last one in that water series. This is the undercurrent. So like the big brother to the intersect, right? And first I want to show this retention system. So it's actually got a button retention system on the, uh, on like the sheath that. right there. And you push that down and it releases it. And then you've got a traditional dive knife. Can I get a button release pocket clip for all fixed plates? <laughs> uh, am I getting too picky? Right. Because... I think, I think he's got a point, just like all of our knives here. That's a point. <laughs> now, this, one, this one's going to be a, a typical, more blunted tip uh, dive knife. That's typically what you're going to find there because you don't want to puncture any of your hoses, any of your stuff like that. But you still want a knife. You've still got the serrations on there, which on this bigger version is really nice so that you can cut cordage, cut rope, anything like that that might be holding you up. Um, because that's something that you definitely don't want to run into. And again, CPM MagnaCut on the blade steel, full tang fixed blade. You can actually see the tang out back here as well. And again, rubberized grip. I don't so, know why, but that just didn't sound right. What? On the tail? I see yeah, it in the tail. You can see the tang out back here. He said it. Never mind. <laughs> um, so, yeah, and it's going to come with that injection molded sheath right there with the button release. Super simple. If you don't press the button, it's not coming out of there. So really dig that. And that one's coming in at 250 as well. Only two more left as far as the fixed blades goes. And that's going to be the mini Bushcrafter and the Bushcrafter. And these are Bushcraft. These are chunky as hell. Um, so if you look at, look at the thickness right there. Good grief. And these have got some heft to them. So we're talking S30V. These are Seabird designed. So the same designer that designed the Adamas and the Mini Adamas and the Adamas fixed blade designed these as well. 
And these are chunky, chunky monkeys right there. So this is the mini version. That one's coming in at 380. This is the full size. That one's coming in at 400. There's also going to be some other versions coming in later on in the year. Uh, in particular, a black carbon fiber with a black coated crew wear blade that I am super looking forward to. And I think it's going to look sexy as all get out. But really excited to see these. Um, a, a true bushcrafting outdoor knife from Benchmade. I think, uh, I think those will be super popular right there. And very well made. Good quality uh, materials. And really got a lot of health to them. You're not going to forget you're carrying these um, by any means. And so I like those. What do you think about those? Love them. They're, I definitely love the way they feel in hand. So uh, that's that's our that's our story about Benchmade. First six months of Benchmade, boom, right there. Let us know in the comments down below which one is your favorite and which one, even if you aren't, you're most likely to pick up. Yeah. Um, so, because, I mean, I can look at all these and I know that I might be able to afford one of these. So, so to we can it, all dream. Well, to keep it Benchmade too, we usually do a pocket check, but let's keep it Benchmade theme. So for, if you, you're putting one of these in your pocket today, uh, only one, which one are you putting in your pocket? Oh, that's tough. That's real tough, dude. Um, money's no option or do money's, I have to take I mean, money's no option, but you can't sell it. Okay. Um, I'm either gonna go with the Auto Adamas or the Mini Adira. Okay. Um, that's that's gonna be it's gonna be between those two for me. So. Yeah. Uh, Actually, I'm gonna say the Mini Adira, um, simply because I'm waiting for the other Auto Adamas, the different iteration. So. I think I take on this one. This shit out. Heck so. yeah. Yeah. All right. Let us know what you would put in your pocket, and let us know what you do have in your pocket. Absolutely. Absolutely. In the comments down below. As always, folks. It's been me, TC here, along with Isaac. And Greg working from home today. And as always, remember, if it cuts, who do you care? You carry it like a bench, man. Like a, like a bench, man.